Yo! Welcome back to a brand new Craftopia guide. In today's guide, we're going to be talking about age progression and which items you should be looking for in the next age. Now, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below if any help that you may need in the game. But let's do this. Welcome to Craftopia. If you are watching this video, then chances are you are just starting out and you're wondering what this age stuff is all about. Well, I am going to be covering how to unlock each age and what to be looking out for when you progress to the next age. These age progression guides will be uploaded as well as my normal videos, so expect some double uploads. But let's get into progressing the ages. In Craftopia, you have two types of altars. One is the altar of transportation. This will allow you to unlock and travel to new islands which progressively get harder. But we are going to be covering the altar of civilization. So first of all, let's go ahead and make one. Now I am on a brand new account here, so I have not progressed anything. And as you can see, if I head into the craft menu here, the altar is right here. You don't need a workbench, you don't need anything special to craft it. You can just click on it, and here you will see we need 10 stone and 10 logs to craft the altar of civilization. So let's get our logs and our stone. Now as I said, I haven't progressed anything, so I have no axe, I have no tools. I'm I'm doing this all manually with you guys so i'm gonna first off start by collecting those logs and i'm gonna head into the craft menu and i'm gonna make myself a wooden axe this is just gonna make my life a little bit easier and you will need this going forward now that i have the axe i can chop down these trees a lot faster in fact i can even speed that up by doing a jump attack which will actually hit the tree three times which will speed up collecting those logs so i now have a bunch of logs but now i need some stone so i'm gonna start by punching this stone until i get three pieces of stone once I have three, I'm going to head into my craft menu again, and I'm going to make myself a stone pickaxe. I'm going to go ahead and craft that one. Again, you're going to need these going forward, and it will just make my life easier right now for collecting the stone. So I can go ahead and do that, or I can do the same process again of doing the jump attack, which will actually hit it three times, which will speed the process up of collecting that stone. So I've gathered my logs and I've gathered my stone. I'm going to head into my craft menu, and I'm going to select the altar of civilization. Now I've got plenty of resources, so let's go ahead and craft that. That will automatically put it onto my hotbar, but if your hotbar is full, then just head into your inventory and head down to the build section. Here, you can equip the altar of civilization and you can place it down. Now you are ready to start progressing ages. You will always need an altar of civilization, so no matter where you move your base to, make sure you've got one of those and the altar of transportation. This will just allow you to progress yourself through the game and have everything in your base. So we are going to use this altar of civilization to travel through ages. So I'm going to interact with the altar of civilization and it will bring up this interface. Now, as you can see, our current age is the stone age. That's the very beginning age. That's right at the start. The next age is the agriculture age. And when we progress to this age, we actually unlock these items here. And this list is pretty big. And you get this list every time you progress an age. And as you can see, there is a fair few ages to progress and there is more coming soon. And as we can see over here, the requirement for age evolution is 100 gold, but we start with 1000, so that's not a problem. And we can select these resources to see exactly what it is they need. So they want 10 logs. We've already collected a bunch, so we've got those. They need 10 stone. We've already got those. 10 copper. We can go and collect those in a moment. And three animal flesh. Again, we can go and collect those as well. So if we need more logs, we would just chop the trees. If we need Need more stone we would find the plain rocks with no little jagged edges on them so as you can see this is a plain rock here this one here has an ore inside of it and this is actually the ore we need so the best way to tell by this is by matching the color copper is a copper color like an orange so we find the orange rock now when we hit this we see we get copper ore so we just need 10 of them now there's a fair few rocks on beginner island for as much copper ore as you want but run around, do your jumping attack, two hits will finish it off, collect up the copper ore. You will get plenty very fast. So next up was the animal flesh. 
Now, you can do this using your pickaxe or your hatchet, but it's actually a lot easier to just make yourself a stick. A stick only requires five logs, so it's very easy. Now, it may not hit as hard, but the fighting style is different. If you see, this is the fastest I can attack with a pickaxe, but with a stick, I can really go to town and beat this cow to death. So go ahead and beat that cow up. Do what you need to do, finish him off, and get that animal flesh. There's two straight away, so I'm going to kill this cow as well. There we go. And there's some more animal flesh there. There's another two. So we have four animal flesh. We only needed three. We've got the logs, we've got the stone, and we've got the copper. So when we now head into our altar of civilization, you will see that we now meet all the requirements to progress the age. Now, as I mentioned, I will also recommend what to aim for out of the new items you've unlocked now that you're going to progress the age. Now, this one is pretty straightforward because it's so early on in the game you pretty much need everything that this is going to unlock chests is a great example you always need to store stuff the blacksmith and the stone furnace this is going to allow you to create armor and the furnace will allow you to create the ingots that are used in every build in the game you also then get a cooking pot a wheat field as i said this age is very self-explanatory but outside of the obvious items such as the blacksmith in the furnace the other items i would recommend crafting is a altar of transportation this will allow you to put them down wherever you like and you can use them to transport around all the islands a fishing rod this will allow you to do fishing where you can get various items but you also do need it to progress on a future age so having it now will allow you to keep yourself topped up with food fishing in this game is actually pretty satisfying and you can get some great rewards of course get the max tool that you can the highest axe the silver and the silver pickaxe always get the best axe that you can in each age that you go to and finally i would highly recommend making yourself a potion brewing stand Potions are extremely useful in this game and I will run through exactly why when you need them but aim to get one of these made. You will forever need one, so may as well get it done now. But as I said, most of the items in this age are pretty obvious, but I will continue to point out when they're not so obvious. There is a lot of items in this game that don't get the hype that they deserve, and they aren't shown as one of these big items at the top. They're just kind of merged in, and there can be some real great items merged in with all of this stuff. So I'm going to make sure that you don't miss any of that. So you can now go ahead and progress the age. Head on over to the right hand side with all of this stuff in your inventory and make sure you've got that 100 gold and click progress age. And there we go. We are now in the age ahead and that means all of those items are now available to us to craft. For example, if I now head into my craft menu, you can now see I now have the altar of transportation, which means if I collect these resources here, I can create my own one and place it down wherever I want. And there you go, you are now in the next age, which means you can start to unlock those next items. And when you are ready to progress that next age, the next guide will be ready for you to progress. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below of any help that you may need in the game. Check down in the description for a link to our Discord. If you're new to Craftopia or if you've been playing for a while, feel free to join us. We are by far the most active Craftopia community. And if you ever need help, that's definitely the place to go. But most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!